Hello everyone, another historical discussion video here on my channel, History with Hilberts. And today I was thinking I would cover a little bit about the um, some similarities that I picked up between the Frisians and the Scottish. Because I think in um, some ways they are fairly similar. Now, why am I thinking this? Well, both had a numerous series of wars. Um, especially in the Middle Ages and uh, the early Renaissance, against a more powerful neighbour. So for the Scottish, that's obviously the English to the south. For the Frisians, it was the Hollanders who um, actually invaded parts of uh, Frisia. So, for example, West Friesland, which is on the other side of um, Eiselmeer, to uh, the modern province of Friesland. That used to be Frisian. In fact, the whole area there used to be Frisian. It's only around sort of the 11th, 12th century that we start to see a distinction between the Hollanders and the Frisians. And in a way, that's a bit then like the Scottish with the English, who also fought each other quite a lot. Now, you might say, well, th that's not really anything to comment on because it's just two nations who both fought against the larger oppressor. You know, you can find hundreds of examples throughout history. Well, I kind of was inspired to make this video because in Scotland, one of the big resistance figures is William Wallace. And what's he well known for? He has, well, with the popular image of him, at least, um, is of a huge giant of a man, uh, long hair, ruthless against his enemies, strongly patriotic, and he has a massive sword or a, a clay maw, which in Gaelic actually means big sword. Maw means big, so uh, fun bit of trivia there. But the Frisians as well actually have a similar figure to William Wallace, which I thought was an interesting coincidence. Um, in the um, the Frisians have a figure called Grutapir in Frisian, which um, in English essentially means Grut is uh, from the same root as the English word great. So Gruta is big when describing something. So his name in English would be something like Big Beer. And he was around in, I think, the 16th century and he fought against uh, the Hollanders and he was a Frisian pirate. So a little bit like William Wallace and he is described as being a, a massive man as well, as being a big giant. And actually they have his sword in a museum and that as well is a huge big thing just like the Scottish one because I think um, William Wallace's sword is in the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh if I'm not much mistaken uh, and that's that's a massive thing as well so I was just thinking about that and thinking about how they have both of these figures who are quite similar and maybe it's something to do um, with sort of the, the myth of a big hero figure who fights against the oppressors from uh, England and Holland, respectively. Now, as well, they both have um, minority languages. So, in Frisian, obviously, they have the West Frisian language in the Dutch part of uh, Friesland. And in Scotland, they have both the Scots language in sort of the border areas, but also now um, with Doric Scots, which is sort of the Scots which is spoken in Aberdeenshire. But also in Scotland you have the Gaelic languages, which were then, the Gaels were in Scotland for a long time, were quite culturally separated from uh, the English and other Scots, and it's sort of a similar situation in uh, Friesland, less so, and for less of a long time, but for quite a long time the Frisians in Frisia in the Middle Ages they didn't have the feudal system which the Dutch did have and uh, they ha instead had a system which was called the Frisian Freedom or the Frieske Freiheit in Frisian um, which was essentially a system of free farmers. They The only power that the Frisians recognized was the Holy Roman Emperor which goes back to the early Frankish dominance of Frisia and that was one of the conditions that they uh, operated by and sort of quote unquote agreed to be part of the empire but it's it's a bit more complicated than that but that's essentially what it goes back to. So I don't know, a bit of a random video but I thought I'd share my point of view on this and then see what you think. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this sort of a, I don't know, it's it's quite a looser connection, but I just thought it was an interesting comparison between the two, that they both have these you know, historic figures, they both fought against these larger nations uh, who would later, who they'd later join as part of the country. Obviously, Scotland's now part of Great Britain. Friesland is now part of the Netherlands. But yeah, all right, everyone, so... Um, Thanks for watching, I guess, and um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Alright everyone, see you in the next one.